deep reinforcement learning has been successful in solving many complex tasks like playing chess and playing video games from pixels but the underlying algorithms used implicitly assume that the task is well defined and stable over time humans on the other hand learn continually throughout their life one possible explanation for this ability is the existence of complementary learning systems in the brain the first learning system neocortex acquires structured information slowly but retains it for a long time aiding generalization and the second learning system hippocampus acquires new information rapidly but stores it for a short period of time in rl learning is typically focused on how to optimize return and the main estimated quantity is one value function as a result when changes occur in the environment rl systems are faced with the stability plasticity dilemma whether to forget past predictions in order to learn new estimates or to preserve old estimates which may be useful again later and compromise the accuracy on a new task we propose a cls inspired approach to the stability plasticity dilemma by decomposing the overall value function of the agent as a sum of two components permanent value function and transient value function similar to the role of the neocortex in the brain the permanent value function should capture general structure in the value functions from the tasks that the agent has seen in its lifetime it should also provide good baseline predictions for any task that the agent faces in the future to achieve this we update the permanent value function towards the new estimate of the overall value function whenever the task changes if the task boundaries are unobserved we update it every k steps the sequence of expected updates contracts to a unique fixed point which optimizes the jump start objective on the other hand the transient value function should compute corrections on top of the estimates provided by the permanent value function in order to approximate more closely the true value function of the current situation to achieve this we update the transient value function in an online fashion using a semi gradient update rule the semi gradient is with respect to the transient value function only which results in learning only a part of the value function that is not captured by the permanent value function the transient value function is reset or decayed after updating the permanent value function we show that unlike td estimates our method retains past predictions through the permanent value function and it adapts faster on a new task empirically we tested our approach on both prediction and control problems with various function approximators for the prediction problem we considered discrete grid for the tabular experiment and mini grid for the deep rl experiment we changed the rewards of the goal state from one task to another so the agent has to adapt its estimates continually we test our approach pttd learning against reset and non reset variants of td learning we evaluate the algorithms on two performance measures one prediction errors on the current task shown in solid lines and two prediction errors on other tasks shown in dotted lines the reset variant of td learning performs poorly because all learning progress is lost when the weights are reset leading to the need for many samples after every task change td learning also has high online errors immediately after a task switch as its predictions are initially biased towards the past task as the value function is updated using the online interaction data the error on the current task reduces and the error on other tasks rises highlighting the stability pro- plasticity problem when using a single value function estimate our algorithm works well on both performance measures the permanent value function learns common information across all tasks resulting in lower errors on the second performance measure throughout the experiment also due to the good starting point provided by the permanent value function the transient component requires little data to make adjustments this results in fast adaptation on the new task in our method the permanent component provides stability and the transient component provides plasticity this results in a good balance between the two we perform control experiment to test our approach as a complement to q learning for the tabular experiment we used a 6 by 6 grid with two terminal states located at the top right corner for the deep rl experiment 
we use a two room mini grid environment with two terminal states in the second room the terminal rewards change from one task to another we tested our approach ptdqn against the reset and non reset variants of dqn the reset variant of q learning and dqn has to learn a good policy from scratch whenever the task changes therefore it requires many samples since the goal rewards are flipped from one task to another q learning and dqn also requires many samples to readjust the value function estimates in our method since the permanent component mixes action values across tasks the resulting bias is favorable and makes it fairly easy to learn the corrections required to obtain overall good estimates so the transient component requires relatively few samples to find a good policy when the task changes we use recently proposed jelly bean world environment to test the scalability of our approach in full continual rl we change the rewards for collecting different colored objects from one task to another here the agent doesn't observe task boundaries we compare our approach ptdqn against vanilla dqn dqn with a large buffer a multi headed dqn and a random policy we observed dqn's performance drops over time when it needs to learn conflicting q values dqn also needs a large number of samples to overcome the initial bias in its estimates when the task changes surprisingly multi headed dqn performs poorly compared to our method despite having additional task boundary information the weights of the trunk are shared and they vary continuously over time therefore the weights at the head become stale compared to the features which degrades performance augmenting dqn with a large experience replay is detrimental for general non stationary problems based on our experiments this is because the samples stored in the replay buffer become outdated so using these samples hamper the agent's ability to track environment changes our method performs better than all the baselines because of its ability to trade off stability and plasticity using two separate value functions do check out our paper for more results and additional details thank you